Hi, I'm Brandon with Node, and I'm going to demonstrate here how to configure and install a Server 2008 installation using Microsoft Hyper-V and create a new virtual uh, server. And first thing I'm going to do to this is open up the Hyper-V console. Now, I have Hyper-V installed on a server already, and all I'm going to do is right-click that server, go to New, select Virtual Machine. First, I'm going to click Next. And then I'm going to name this server. Uh, once I name it, then I will, let me make sure it's stored where I want it to store. I'm going to go ahead and select a, a, a location here. And uh, let's see, OK, next. Now, uh, allocate some memory to it. And choose a network connection to connect it to. So. I'm going to choose how large this thing is going to start out at and then um, go ahead and, and allow it to create that. Finally, I'm going to select an image file which is going to contain the actual image of an ISO which is an installation. So this would be otherwise my CD, my physical media. So I'll click next and finish. At this point, the system is going to go ahead and automatically configure and create this new instance. So among my instances of servers, I now have a new server which I can right click on and say start. Once that's started, and it's going to give me a, a thing here, okay, not enough memory in the system to start. Well, no problem at all. My server actually doesn't have an adequate amount of memory start this up. So I'm going to lower the amount of memory right there. And while I'm at it, you know, I've also remembered I want to add four processors onto this. Okay. Go ahead and start this up. Uh, not enough memory. Well, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and shut down one of these other instances here. Which some of these instances have quite a bit of memory allocated to them, and there's one here in particular that I don't need. Now, when I double-click on one of these Hyper-Vs, it brings me into a console, which this is essentially as if I had a monitor plugged up. This isn't, I'm not RDP'd in. This is the actual console of the server. And so I'm going to send a control delete command, and then when it responds, Log in. This is just a Server 2008 Hyper-V instance, which has a Link 2010 installation. I'll go ahead and shut this down. As soon as it shuts down, it's going to free up memory and resources on my hypervisor, which is going to allow me to start this new terminal server installation. Okay, that's turned off. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the memory one more time and raise this to 1024. Now, I should be able to start the instance. So the instance is started, and a little image appears down here which kind of shows me a screen of what the, the instance is doing. So I'm just going to double click on this and get to the actual console. So this is going to demonstrate how Hyper-V starts up the Server 2008 installation here as if I was sitting right at the console. And setup will start and allow me to choose which edition I wish to install, which in this case is going to be the Server 2008 Enterprise Full Edition.
This is the disk that I created earlier. Now it's just going to go through and do a complete installation. Okay, once the installation is complete, it's going to prompt for the password to be changed for the first time. And I'll go ahead and type in a password. And then go ahead and log in. Alright. So, the installation of, of this onto my virtual server is completed. And now my server is about to launch for the very first time. I'm going to see this desktop. So... This is excellent. So here I've got my server. I can go into the properties of it. I can actually see I've got a gig of RAM. Um, and it, let's see how many processors it's showing for me. Uh, and it shows four cores. So And it's, it's picking up two physical processors. And each processor has uh, two cores in the server. This is a 64-bit installation. All right, great. Now that entire installation is done, and um, before I finish up, I'm just going to go ahead and enable the RDP because that's really handy. If you don't enable RDP, then if you try to RDP to the server, it's not going to work. So there we go. Now I've got RDP enabled, and I could actually log into the server via... RDP from any machine and not have to be I add a console which actually is running this Hyper-V manager locally because this is not an RDP connection this is actually it's similar to an RDP connection but it's 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 really something a little bit different it's RDP to the console so um, otherwise I just need to enter my product key and activate this install and it will be done so that's a demonstration of how to install server 2008 onto a Hyper-V um, terminal using an ISO image as your source. I'm Brandon Cross with Node.